Hello and a very warm welcome back to Hughes Nursery. In today's video we're going to be looking at how high value crops can save you money in the garden. The kind of high value crops I'm going to be looking at today are crops that cost a lot to buy in stores but are relatively easy and inexpensive to grow. Five examples of high value crops are leafy greens, herbs, garlic, radishes and squash but I'm going to be attaching a few links into the description where you can see a much more detailed list of these high value crops. So for this video we're going to be looking at Swiss chard which is also known as perpetual spinach. Now last year was our first proper year of growing it and it was it's probably my favourite vegetable because it's got so many health benefits it's really tasty especially when you cook it just right and a bit of melted butter on it and it's also it's really easy to grow. Now here in Britain it will cost us £7.50 a kilogram which is the equivalent of $3.40 US cents for a pound. Now I think this is very expensive for a leafy green and when I went online for uh, an online food supermarket it was selling it at a really high price for only 200 grams of it. So I decided to do a bit of research and some maths to see how much can you actually save by choosing a high value crop such as Swiss chard. The organic seed supplier we like to use is Tamor Organics and we've been buying seed from them since we started the vegetable garden and they've been really good. So I decided to go on their website and I saw that 200 seeds of perpetual spinach would cost me £1.40, which is $2. Now, if 50% of these germinated and 40 of them turned into full flourishing plants, each plant will yield about 250 grams or 9 ounces of Swiss chard. If all 80 plants grew and we harvested them all and they were all eaten, that would mean 20 kilograms of Swiss chard, which when you do the mass, is £150 or $227 worth of Swiss chard from a single seed packet. Now this packet, it costs barely anything, but the, but the whole kind of profit of it, the profit of what you've grown, has vastly increased. Last year, we grew half a bed of Swiss chard, and that, bed, that half bed was 36 square feet. And we were planting the Swiss chard to one plant per square foot. Now if you put that all together and the 30, all 36 grew, we managed to save or grow with the equivalent of £67.50p or $102 worth of Swiss chard in a relatively small space. I hope that this example of Swiss chard has inspired you to maybe go and look at your favourite vegetable, whether it's tomatoes or kale, whatever. Just go out there and take a look at the costs and maybe use the same kind of formula I used to see how much you can realistically grow and also save in the garden. I really enjoyed putting this video together and if you are a bit confused about the maths, because I'm not a maths person, but I hope it was simple enough for you to understand. But if you didn't, please go down in the description, and I've got kind of a bit of a formula which is so simple to use to see how you can actually work out um, high-value high crops and how you can grow them at home. If this is the first time joining, please subscribe because I'd love to have you join this community where you can learn how to grow organic produce inexpensively. Thank you very, very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, don't panic and grow organic. Goodbye.